time of light in projectile motion and deriving the equation of time of light using two different methods. Before starting the lecture, click on the subscribe button and get access to our hundred of unique and simple lectures for free. Now what is the time of light in projectile motion? Well, consider a ball. Let you kick this ball and it starts moving along this curved path. Let the initial velocity of the ball is u is equal to 20 meter per second and the angle of projection of the ball is 45 degree. We have learned in our previous lecture that this ball moves in horizontal direction as well as in vertical direction. The velocity of the ball along horizontal direction is ux is equal to u cos theta and that in the vertical direction is uy is equal to u sin theta. We also know that at the maximum height, the y component are velocity in vertical directions become zero. Let me divide the whole motion of the ball into parts, p, q and r. From p to q, the ball completes half motion and time t in upward direction. Secondly, from Q to R, the ball takes the same time T to complete the downward motion. Thus note it down that I have divided the motion of the ball into two equal parts. Now what is the time of flight? Well, the time taken by the ball to move from P to R is called the time of flight of a projectile. The time of flight of a projectile is denoted by capital T. Now what is the difference between capital T and smaller t? Well, Remember that this smaller t indicates the motion of the ball at a particular instant like the time taken by the ball to complete either the upward motion or the downward motion while capital T is the complete time taken by the ball from P to R to complete or execute the motion. So we can also write that capital T is equal to two times smaller t because in one t the ball moves in upward direction and in another t it goes down. Now I am interested to find the time taken by the ball to reach maximum height from P to Q. Hence I consider only the vertical motion of the ball. We know that the initial velocity of the ball in y direction is ui is equal to u sin theta and the final velocity of the ball at q or maximum height is vy is equal to 0 meter per second. Also the acceleration a is equal to negative g and as mentioned I am interested to find the time taken by the ball to go from p to q. We know that these all parameters are joined by the equation v is equal to u plus a t. The final velocity v of the ball is zero. The initial velocity u of the ball is equal to u sin theta plus the acceleration of the ball is negative g and 2t. Rearranging the equation, gt is equal to u sin theta, rt is equal to u sin theta upon g. So the ball will take t is equal to u sin theta upon g time to go from point p to point q. Now it will again take t is equal to u sin theta upon g time to go from q to r. Now how much time it will take to move from p to r? Well, we know that t is equal to two times smaller t. So the time of flight of the ball is t is equal to 2u sin theta upon g. This is the equation of the time of flight of a projectile. Also, let me teach you one another method of deriving the equation of time of flight of a projectile. Consider the vertical motion of the ball from P to R. The initial velocity of the ball in vertical direction is ui is equal to u sin theta. Acceleration a of the ball is negative g. The displacement of the ball in vertical direction is sy is equal to 0 meter. Let me explain this. Consider that a ball is present on x-axis and its x-coordinate is 1 and y-coordinate is 0. Now the ball moves to this point. Here, its x-coordinate changes to 5 but its y-coordinate is again 0. Thus we say that this ball is displaced along x-axis direction because its x-coordinate changes from 1 to 5. But the ball has zero displacement in y direction because its y coordinate doesn't change. Similarly, at point P, the ball is present on x axis. At point R, the ball is again present at x axis. So this ball is displaced in horizontal direction from P to R, but vertically its displacement Sy is equal to zero. Now I am interested to find the time of flight of the ball to move from P to R. 
Hence, these all parameters are joined by the equation S is equal to VIT plus half AT squared. We know that the displacement SY is equal to zero. Initial velocity of the ball is U sin theta into T plus half negative G into T squared. Now we take T common as zero is equal to T into U sin theta minus half GT. We know that T is not equal to zero. So u sin theta minus half gt is equal to zero or half gt is equal to u sin theta or t is equal to 2 u sin theta upon g. Hence this is the equation of time of flight of the ball. Now let me use this equation to calculate the time of flight of the ball. The initial velocity of the ball is u is equal to 20 meter per second. The angle of projection is 45 degree and acceleration due to gravity is 9.8 meter per second squared. We know that the time of flight t is equal to 2 u sin theta upon g. Plug in all these value in this equation, we get t is equal to 2.9 second. So the ball takes 2.9 seconds to move from P to R if you throw it with initial velocity of 20 meter per second at an angle of projection of 45 degree. I hope that you have understood the concept of time of flight and projectile motion.